Hi there! So starting out, I'm using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm putting a white dot right there in the center. And then I'm going to follow up with a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. And I'm going to put a dot on each one of the 8 spokes. Going uh, through the center dot there. And then I go ahead and put a dot right in between each of those for a total of 16 dots around the center. Okay, so now we're going to start walking the dots. Um, I'm walking the dots around each of the blue dots there, and I'm using my very smallest nail stylus dotting tool, which I call a size 1. And you just want to put a dot right on the outside edge, right in the center of the dot. And then you walk the dots down one side. I could only fit about two. And then you re-dip your tool and then re-dot the first dot that you put on. And then walk your dots down the other side, which I usually only got right about one on the other side. all the way around to each one of those dots. And basically I just repeat this pattern over and over throughout this whole design. Moving along, I am using a 3.5 millimeter wooden dowel for my next row of dots. And I'm just kind of going right in between each of the previous dots, kind of down in the little divot of the little bridge, the little lacy bridge that we just stuck on there with the little white dots, just in between each of those. And again, I'm going to grab my size 1 nail stylus dotting tool. And I'm just going to do the same thing, starting with the outside center edge. Dot it, and then walk your dots down one side. And then just re-dip it, and then dot that same first dot again, and then walk it down the other side. All the way around to each one of those dots. Okay, this is a size 4 millimeter crochet hook. And again, just going right in between each of the little bridges there. And I'm going to grab my number 2, size 2 nail stylus dotting tool. And I'm going to be doing the little lacy bridge right over each of those dots. And I kind of speed through this for you so you don't have to sit through it. That would be a lot of dotting to sit through. This is a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And this is the crystallite set of crochet hooks that I'm using today. And I just put a dot right in between each of the previous dots. And again, just going to walk the dots around each of those. And this is a size 2 nail stylus dotting tool. The canvas itself is a 
three by three. Three inches by three inches. Okay, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Just repeating the same pattern. And you can use any colors that you like. I was just going with the pastels. And again, just walking the dots around those. And that is a size 3 nail stylus dotting tool. This is a six millimeter crochet hook. You know, I always question whether to stop. It's it looks so pretty at some points, and uh, sometimes I will just go ahead and stop there, but this one I'm just going to go all the way out to the edge. And that is a size 3 nail stylus dotting tool. This is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Again, just going right in between the previous row all the way around. Going back to the size 3 nail stylus dotting tool and walking the dots around each of those dots. Now you notice I touch um, the poster board that I have underneath my painting there. Um, on the dots that don't get the first dot, I go ahead and dot and blot off um, the first bit of paint as though I had dotted it. That way the rest of the dots will line up. I'm going back to the same six and a half millimeter crochet hook just for the uh, corners there. And walking around with the size three nail file dotting tool. Now you could totally stop right here. If you just, if you like that design right there, go ahead and stop. That's very Eastery colors. I wanted to go ahead and make it a little funky this time, so I'm just kind of mixing up the colors a little bit. I'm putting orange on the yellow. And here I'm using a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool for that. and a four millimeter crochet hook.
Now I'm putting on um, a green right on top of the pink. Again, just using the 4mm crochet hook and the size 5 nail stylus blending tool. And I'm putting red on top of the purple. And pink, a brighter pink on top of the blue. And that will be the last layer. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about these kind of wacky colors. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.